Hello, 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 hello. Uh, a bit later than hoped, but uh, something is working. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, Left 4 Dead... Do, do, do. Sorry, just got to fix my headset a bit. Uh, yeah, Left 4 Dead 2 got its first big update in about eight years earlier this week and I tried playing it on PC before but uh, because I have a bit of difficulty playing uh, first person shooters with mouse and keyboard with uh, condition of my hands uh, I tried using controller and controller support wasn't quite working right now it appears to be <laughs> uh, having just had a, a, a quick tiny wee test just now so I thought, well, let's let's have a go at the the new uh, campaign I've got. <laughs> so, and I will be way out of practice because I have not actually played Left 4 Dead for at least four or five years. Uh, last time probably would have been on the Xbox 360. So. Uh, quite a while back. So, single player campaign. Last stand. What character's going to be? Oh, got to be Zoe. I'm tempted to put it on easy. But, we'll try normal first. And see how I get on. So yes, also they've made it a bit easier to just access single player on this now, which is nice. Uh, I'm still uh, still no cam uh, uh, because I'm still having to kind of lie awkwardly and sideways on the sofa. <laughs> uh, legs still being a bit of a bother. But again, it's only in very specific situations, specifically sitting in a normal upright position. <laughs> for longer than 10 minutes. So, apart from the fact there's a lighthouse in this, I know virtually nothing about uh, the actual levels here. Ooh, okay. Looks like we're gonna have to walk out of here. I got a bad feeling about this. Oop, it passed. Well, I think we're gonna be just fine. <sighs> Come on, let's move. Okay, up down the left right. Yeah, that's looking good. Ooh, shovel. Okay. Have we got any better weapons? So all we've got shotgun. Okay, we'll take the shotgun. Right. Off we go. Oh, this is bringing back memories. Actually, just wait a minute. volume down a bit hopefully you can hear me okay because this shotgun is rather loud oh this music is bringing back memories Yeah, I messed that up. <laughs> Thanks. I owe you. 
sure thing, sir. Don't set the alarm off. <laughs> Yeah, the only game really of this type I have played recently has been uh, the excellent Vermintide Weapons and here. even better Vermintide 2. You pillock! I was going to have that gun. Oh well. This way. <laughs> Sorry, Louis. Okay, I'm crouched. That would explain a bit of the problem. Ah, right, okay, I, rem I remember how to do this now. Right, okay. So it has been quite a while. <laughs> Okay, that's not going to work. Ah, yuck! Another boomer. Do you hear that? Charger! 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 It's killing me! Watch where you shoot! Don't stand in front of my gun. What have you got? A pipe bomb. I'm just going to check something here. Du, 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 du. Where's manual reload? There we go, there we go, that's better. So yeah, this is, oh, this is kind of, even though this is not a level I've played before, this is just bringing back so many memories. Just realized what I've messed up here. Du, du, du. Where 
Oh, what have I done here? I'm messing this up. Oh, come on. Options. Keyboard device. Edit keys buttons. Right. Oh, I think that has... Probably mess things up. Hit the keys buttons. Oh, bum. I bet, I bet none of this is working. Oh no, it is working. gonna have to fix this because yeah I just realized what I did was I no I don't want to do that options keyboard keyboard mouse do 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 Jump. Duck. Okay, hopefully that's fixed it. Yes, okay. Weapons over here. Oh, <laughs> sorry, yes, I just messed up my... I messed up my controls a bit. But, uh... Yeah, controller support is now... It was working. Uh... Let's get to my menu. I think I'm going to have to just restart this. Right, let's try that again. Let's wait until it's exited fully. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. No, 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 don't want that, want that. Right, play campaign, single player. Campaign, last stand. Back to Zoe. Start gaming. Hopefully my controls are right now, th this time. Yeah, for some reason, manual reload wasn't set to a button, and then when I set it to a button, I realised I'd accidentally uh, unbound the pick up, use button. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just hike the hell out of here. Sounds good. Oh, come on. Okay, that's working. 
That is not working. Right, I want the submission gun. Almost there, almost there. Okay, done. Jump. That. That's that. That. Well, that. Oh, wait, that's duck. Okay. And that's that. And that, that, and that. All right. Okay, right. I think we're all set now. Got a shovel. So I said, Games Workshop just offered me a £10 voucher. What, for selling your soul to them? Stop the controls here. Options. Alright, where are we here? No left right. Okay, no, they are there. Okay, that should still be okay. Right. for him. Guess there is this. No, she's there. Right, okay. We are not going down the left hand tunnel. We are avoiding the left hand tunnel. I said, if, if he spends £65 this week, so close, close to selling his soul. Yeah, as soon as. Oh, guys. Yeah, instantly, as soon as I started the sound effects and music, we're like, oh, this is, yeah. Hold on. Audio. That's what it is. I'd put the game volume down, but not the music volume. Uh, 
There we go. There we go. Oh, explosives. Okay, right. Okay. <laughs> up here, guys. Heads up, smoker, somewhere around here. Guys, will you stop nicking, nicking stuff before I pick Weapons it up? Over here. Okay, where we go? Where we going? Up, up. There appears to be an upstairs, but I'm just... Oh yeah, there we go. Upstairs, there we go. I'm a star, so that's what I meant to do. Right, okay, well... <laughs> no thing is I knew exactly where the witch was she was in the the left hand little bit under the bridge and I was just praying none of my teammates were gonna shoot her Oh well, you're screwed. <laughs> This way, okay. Truck, truck, truck. I hear ya. Well, Francis, stop walking in front of my gun. But yeah, apart from a few just slight bite. Whoa, 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 whoa. But yeah, apart from a couple of slight binding issues, uh. Yeah, apart from a few slight binding issues, uh, the controller support's working well. And part of the binding issues were caused by 
me already having tried to get this working with a controller using Steam's controller configs. But because this update seems to have changed how the game detects controllers, uh, you don't actually need seem to need the Steam settings anymore. So once I got it sorted out, it's all good. Weapons where? Reloading. That's... You mean there were weapons there, but you numpties probably took them before I did. Selfish gets. Pump fuel to start the crane. Okay. Now this is a shotgun. Let's get ready before we hit it. Right, now this one, this one. check something here this is a problem it's also been that long since I've played this did you stop time about when you select explosive first aid I could not remember if there was a run but a sprint or anything Nope, just back forward. Yeah, forward back to do a walk. Do do do. Do you bring this audio? No. Oh. Okay. Someone else help fancy us up while I'm getting the generator. Oh, let's go, let's go. Reloading! 
follow here. I don't know if I'm going to make it. Hear that, Boomer? I'm going to kill its ass. <laughs> Heavy machine gun. No, no, that way. This way? Oh, come on. <laughs> Reloading. Reloading. Get up, we gotta go. <laughs> Christ, I'm gonna miss that son of a bitch. <laughs> I owe ya. Sure. Healing, cover me. Ah. Francis! Oh. I call shotgun. I love you, Gunter. Well, Votan didn't lock you in there, did she? I'm here. Oh, yeah. Nah, she Weapons locks people. She locks people out. <laughs> Down here. We are just up, up the sensitivity a bit, and uh, yeah, the controller's working pretty well. Weapons here. Right up ahead, boys. We made it. Assemble in the safe room. Go on, get in. Don't want to lock you out. Lock the door. You don't want to be sure. a poker. Oh! That was on normal difficulty as well. I did consider put it on easy, considering it's been about five, six years at least since I've played Left 4 Dead properly. And that was back in the 360. Chrome shotgun? Well, I thought about it, but I have a feeling some other bugger took it. Ah, yes. 
The melee weapon of champions. What are this for? What was it? Put my choice here. But no, I will I will stick with this and the frying pan. Oh, you can go in. Right, okay, hold up. Go inside. Did to do anything useful? Here we go. <laughs> yes, the sound of a frying pan on a zombie's head is one of the most satisfying sound effects in the history of video games. Pitchfork, but I bet it doesn't make as good a noise. Hey, there's weapons over here. No, not that way, not that way, not that way, not that way. Okay, no, that was a mistake.
I was sure I saw a ladder leading up. Maybe not. Yeah, there's a ladder over this side, but I don't think I can actually reach it. Ah! And yeah! <laughs> that went well. <laughs> Oh, right, right back to the start of the level. But I will leave it there for the... It won't. It, it's good to know it all works. And I've got... That's it. All... Apart from when that happens. Yeah, all the campaigns. So, yeah, it's definitely one I'll... Be happy to return to now. <laughs> I think that's what happened. Yeah. It was definitely a very... Uh, was it Seth, Seth Rollins? He basically bloated, bloated over the barrier. <laughs> so... What to have a go at next? Well, actually, there was. Do, do, do. A demo I want to try out. That got updated recently, and I enjoyed it the first time I tried it. Now the question is, will this show up in wings of no, not Attack on Titan, Wings of Freedom. <laughs> do, do, do. Aha, yes. It does actually show up. That's good. Right, let's see if that works okay. Update. And I'll switch the stream name to... Oh, no, I haven't seen you here, Quest. I, I didn't know about that. I will look. Oh, which might, reminds me, though, of a video I was watching earlier today. Uh, Simon, you might want to go and have a look at the latest Toy Galaxy video. Because there's a toy there I remember you having. <laughs> and I didn't realise it was part of a whole range. It's like, oh, yeah, I remember that. And, yeah, there it was. So, that was cool. Yes, uh, this is an upcoming shoot 'em up. It's out next month called uh, Wings of Blue Star. I tried the original demo a few months back, rather enjoyed it, and uh, an updated demo got released this week. Now, it has been updated again since then because the last time I did try firing it up, it did actually crash. Well, it basically just started out, I got a momentary screen, and then it just. Phew, Exited again. So we'll see if what happens this time. Okay, this is weird. Definitely. Claims that it's going. Okay, I'm going to have to. Oh no, I bring up Task Manager. 
I will keep a check on that. Try once more. Nope, doesn't look like it. Oh, US only for new here, Chris. That's a shame. I mean, importing is expensive and will probably be more expensive. Oh, here we go. Here we go. And will probably be more expensive after January the 1st for reasons. <laughs> right, is this actually going to come up now? Xbox game pack. Okay, let's try bringing this up again. Hmm, not showing up. New cut. Oh no, there we go. Yeah, I'm sure about the name. So yeah, I played the original version of this demo a couple of months back. It's uh, a new ship by Shin Reveal Arts, who's like a single developer making most of this. See a little two player mode, a certain character ship, a whole new stage. Yes, this uh, this reminded me. I'm just going to check options, see if we can alter the volume a little. set at okay I might just have to did do transform no it looks like whatever the last thing I was playing. Well, either that, it's actually maybe automatically. Ooh. I'll have to keep a check on that. It actually has automatically, despite this running at a different resolution, I'm not having to muck about with the window. Which is nice. <laughs> right. So, yeah, this reminds me a lot of Pulsar and Blazing Star on the newer Geo. And yet, uh, got added to my wish list after I tried played the demo once, and it was like, yeah, no, add this to the wish list, and it's due to come out next month. So yeah, as you probably all know, I'm a big, big fan of shoot 'em ups. And so if anyone, if any shoot 'em ups got a demo out, it's like, oh, I'll give that a go. Because I must have about 50 of them on Steam now by this point.
Okay. And um, we've got the R Type B Polestar thing there. That. Oops. Fast on the scenery because I'm an empty. And yeah, also this week I saw the latest trailer for R Type R Type Final Two, which is looking nice. Ah, no. I'm not doing well. <laughs> yeah, continue. Hey, come on. Get a grip going. Get a grip. Get a grip. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot I could do that. Although the other problem with that is it does actually sacrifice your shield. <laughs> ah, here we go, here we go. Pick up bits and pieces. And if I hadn't crashed there, that would have been nice. Thought that'd clear all the bullets, obviously not. <laughs> but yeah, most of this, a lot of the stuff that's come from Tokyo TGS has just been slightly updated trailers. But uh, there was a new trailer for near replicant version. 1.3121716031769 Oh, the music's starting up again. That's good. <laughs> Another thing I appreciate, it's a nice long stage as well. A lot of more modern shoot 'em up stages are rather short. See, I, I appreciate a game with a decent stage length. No, I keep banging at the scenery. Another nice thing is you can use the trigger, the triggers, left, right triggers to spin your options firepower around it's uh you could do with one of the options in gradius 5 on the P playstation 2 yeah same saying yeah either yeah, slightly different chills or the same chill the monster hunter one did have a few different shots and also it's from a newer build so some uh some of it looked considerably smoother than it did in the direct So yeah, actually thinking about it, it's been a week and a half. There's actually been quite a lot of news. <laughs> uh, Sony had a presentation. It was very nice. Uh, PlayStation 5 is a decent good price. I'm not... Fjordas were seemingly a disaster. I don't know because I'm not in a hurry. Uh, all the Xbox info was announced as well. Not really bothered because... Uh, when I do eventually go to next gen it's going to be a PlayStation 5 because it's just more far more exclusive things and nifty Japanese weirdness <laughs> uh, 
but uh and yeah uh microsoft buying zenimax and bethesda and all the accompanying studios was pretty big It remains to be seen exactly what happens as some Microsoft games own stuff is console exclusive, some of it isn't. But I'll, I'll give it to Microsoft. It is one way of grabbing my attention a bit and make me consider an Xbox if you've got certain Bethesda things. <laughs> And yeah, literally the, the day after the PlayStation 5 the conference, uh, well, Nintendo had already announced uh, Hyrule Warriors uh, Age of Calamity, which is like, yep, yeah, okay, thumbs up. Not the missile game I was hoping to hear about and pick up uh, this year, but it'll do. Uh, still don't know. Still no updates on... Uh, Persona 5 Scramble and Yokai Watch 4 uh, coming over here. They were originally meant to be localised this year, allegedly, but you know, with everything happening. <laughs> yeah, it's the same. Microsoft now is more PS5 exclusives than Sony. But yeah, and then the Nintendo thing, uh, the Nintendo uh, Direct was the next day with the, the Partners Direct, and yeah, they announced two new months on the games, and I'm like, yeah, PlayStation 5 can definitely wait. Because, <laughs> uh, uh, well, apart from Cyberpunk, really, the games I'm most excited for coming soon are uh, Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity and A New Monster Hunter. And so I, w I will be doubling my Switch storage next week so I can, I no longer have to worry about every single little thing I buy on the Switch. So, I know what I will fire up quickly. A nice twin stick shooter. that I loved on the 360 and I ended up picking up dead cheap. Now is it here? Yes it is, yes it is. Oh and yeah, I, I saw that just before I set things up for streaming. Yeah, the Halloween update for Animal Crossing. Okay, some of the settings have been lost on this because it's not it's not running full screen like it's meant to be. Help band options. Graphics video resolution, full screen. V-Sync on. Yes, V-Sync is on. So yes, this uh, is Warhammer 40,000 Kill Team. Uh, nice twin stick shooter. 
that was released kind of on alongside uh, Warhammer 40k Space Marine, which I played a couple of months back. And yeah, this is a rather awesome game. Well, I can go plasma gun, but I do want heavy bolt on my cell launch. You know that's locked, so I'll sit with heavy bolt. Uh, back slot, uh, health plus five, range damage plus five. That will do. <laughs> and yeah, there was a, a rather big Warhammer sale, so I picked up Space Marine and this for the PC. And uh, they were a lot of fun. So yeah, this was released as an Xbox Live Arcade title. I think it was probably on PS3 as well. And yeah, PC, and it was one of those games, until it showed up in a Steam sale, I didn't even realise it was a PC version. <laughs> it was like, oh, that'll do. It was only a couple of quid. And it runs nicely. Yeah, my game playing recently has mostly been a bit of leveling in Avengers Boys of Ochi 4 and uh, finally progressing in the Hyrule Warriors main story. I'm up to the Wind Waker levels now after gotten past the, the troublesome level I was having difficulty with before. That's it. I couldn't remember what button was focused by it. This one. Yeah. Yeah, double fire. That'll do it. So yeah, this game's nothing too big or complicated, but it's just it's 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 fun. And it's got a nice kind of solid feeling to it. And yeah, uh, the big Avengers patch uh, came out and fixed most of the problems I'd been having. There was a smaller patch yesterday. Which fixed some more stuff. You must first proceed to the control room to gain access to the chem generator waste chamber. At the moment, I'm not missing any costumes or stuff. Uh, I've gotten five of the six characters to level 50. I've just to do just to do Thor now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, if you get the combo of rapid fire and focused fire. Yeah, you can deal some damage. <laughs> and this weekend, I'm going to try and get some stuff done in Monster Hunter in preparation for the festival, which I think starts next week. which is basically their equivalent of Halloween. Uh, there's some awesome costumes to earn this time around. 
and I kind of want to have gotten far enough in Iceborne that I've actually got the materials to make them straight away this time. As the last two festivals, I've gotten all the tickets I need, but I haven't got the monster bones I need. So I kind of need to get on and take off, take out Barrioth and Tigrex. And if I can handle them, just uh, rinse and repeat until I get enough bones to do everything. Why there we go. <laughs> so I'm saying they took most of the models for this from Dawn of War 2. That would make sense. <laughs> And nicely, just in time for my end of the month, stick some money on my PSN wallet to spend through the month. There's another big in Japan sale happening. <laughs> and two things that have long been on my wish list are finally cheap. <laughs> So finally, the Attack on Titan 2 Final Battle Upgrade Pack has gone on sale. So I shall be uh, nabbing it. And maybe one or two other just uh, fun wee things. Which one of those cases where big in Japan sale and you look and about over half the list it says purchased next to because you have an awful habit of picking stuff up cheap in the sales even if it might take you a few months to actually get around to giving it a go Okie dokie, pig in a pokey. And my other big thing this week was with thanks to friends, uh, I now have my entire Doctor Who DVD and Blu ray collection backed up to a hard drive. And now if I need an emergency watch of Horns of Naimon, it's only a few clicks away, which is awesome. So, uh, massive props to Andrew for getting that collection put together. So it means now rather than making through about three and a half shelves of discs, <laughs> it's just, right, oh, I want to watch this. Watch this. <laughs> so 
So he said, actually, actually spent, uh, painting, he's actually painting Space Marines just now, flying ones. So yeah, just last night I just chose a couple of random bits to watch. Uh, <laughs> that's that that those are lines of blasphemy from the orcs there's no such thing as too much daca that's 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 a slight against the emperor that is yeah what's the special edition of tale of our voids but the version without all the Trial of a Time Lord stuff in it, which makes the episodes a couple of minutes to, to about three minutes, three or four minutes shorter than they would be. Because uh, the, there's extended bits and stuff in there as well and redone effects and a nice new title sequence. But yeah, I always kind of like Tale of Avoids and I like it even more without all that annoying Trial stuff getting in the way. And then I watched Planet of the Daleks, because I hadn't seen it in a while. And it had a, had a line that just made me shout back at the telly. And, uh, <laughs> see, yeah, Molten Ice rising through levels. Saying, oh, Molten Ice, you mean water? Sink plunger wielding pillocks. <laughs> to <laughs> typically Terry Nation hand wavy science stuff. Yeah, it's like a volcano, but it's, it, it's filled with ice. It's an ice cuno, full of molten ice. Yeah, you mean it's like water. So it's like a geyser. Then. Oh, I should have thought, I should have had my, te my Terry Nation bingo card out and filled it in as I went along. Again, I'm hitting the wrong button because I've gotten so used to the switches prompts. No such thing. See, so yeah, the original plan for tonight had actually been to just play some uh, random nifty Switch games, but then the Left 4 Dead update started installing. <laughs> it was like, oh, I should maybe give this a try and see if the controller's working now, and lo and behold, it was, so it turned into a PC game stream for tonight. <laughs> and also, I've kind of been wanting to play Left 4 Dead again uh, after seeing some of the Hollow Life. Uh, members playing it. Uh, Team Smock did it a while back. Which is a uh, Mew Subaru, Okayu, and Corone. Well, they're like, don't, <laughs> don't give Okayu the gas canister. And then 5th uh, Gen were playing it. <laughs> and there was a wonderful clip of uh, Botan deliberately locking Polka out of the safe room at the end of a level. And just Botan's wonderful laugh.
and I've uh, continued to enjoy the whole alive uh, English streams. I did watch uh, Amelia, Ina, and uh, Gura's uh, Surgeon Simulator stream, which was hilarious. And yeah, Gura, Gura accidentally pulling the head off Bob. The patient was just <laughs> trying to chuck it away quickly so no one would notice and then hiding. It was just amazing. Especially because the censored mode was the self censoring mode was on, so it wasn't blood gushing out of the whole of the neck, it was confetti. And the other brilliant Hollow Live one this week was uh Oh no no that's fine. Yeah, I'm happy with upgrades I've got. Was uh, Cavone was playing uh, Dead by Daylight for the first time, just starting out, and even though I only know maybe a couple of dozen words of Japanese, uh, just her reactions and uh, laughing and her wow 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 wows just made it a, a great watch, <laughs> and she was obviously really enjoying it as well. She only had like the base things unlocked. And it did actually make me maybe want to kind of go back to it. Especially since a lot of the DLC that I don't have is on sale again at the moment. But I think it's a game I kind of enjoy watching other people more than actually playing it myself. Because I don't think I could ever put enough time into it to be not worthwhile but right we'll go now Okay, doggy. Oh, that uh, thing over here, pick that up. Well, at least pick up my health. Pick up my health. Pick up that. And the shield. Go in the numpties. Go up here. But yeah, if you've got a PC or a 360, I uh, highly recommend this as a twin, just a, a fun little twin stick shooter. Especially on PC, if you've got a, a PC that'll run it, uh, it often goes on sale for like two or three quid. So I think I paid 179 for it. Anyone else? Is 
Okay, doge. Oh yes, and I did binge watch The Mandalorian. Of one night, which was awesome. I'm so glad to know the, the character I bought an action figure of did not turn out to be evil or traitorous or anything. And just in time for the next series to start next month. Actually, next month's good. We've got Mandalorian starting and uh, the series of Star Trek Discovery as well. Oh, right. Yeah, wasn't paying quite enough attention there. Oh, sorry, just having to move around. This leg is beginning to cramp up a little bit. There we go. That's first mission complete. So yeah, that's a uh, kill team. So it's just nice. Uh, even at full price, it's well worth it. Like I say, it goes on sale a lot. Definitely a lot of fun. And there's different classes with slightly different abilities you can pick as well. But I always, yeah, I always just go more darker. So yeah, I've unlocked a whole load of extra perks I can equip now because you can equip two perks. So yes, great fun. Oh, yeah, Simon, uh, that uh, uh, just reminded because it's right above Warhammer 40k kill team on, on my Steam list. Uh, that uh, Castlevania like Wallachia Reign of Dracula is getting a Switch conversion. So, uh, that's nice. <laughs> See, I was rubbish at it, but I was having a lot of fun with it. So, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Okay, uh, no, I'm sorry, I'm slightly confused because uh, there's something showed up in here that I didn't think I owned on Steam. I thought I got it through somewhere else. Oh well, I will, I will give it a go. Uh, it's another twin stick shooter. I will just update this. I thought I'd gotten it free with uh, I thought it was something I'd gotten with it, either the Epic or Amazon stuff. But it's showing up in my Steam library. Unless it was part of a humble bundle or something that I bought. So yeah, uh, Tesla vs Lovecraft. Uh, yes, the X11. 
which I've not had a go at yet, so... That was loud. Witness the power of lightning! Stop this madness before it's too late! You are meddling with powers you can't comprehend. Please, escort this gentleman out of here. I wonder what's wrong with this poor chap. Ask him the name of his cat. He's just a harmless fiction writer. I think his name was Lovecraft. Okay, that's a bit better. Right, uh, display. What are we at? Yeah, that's good. So yeah, I do, this is nice. Uh, for some reason, OBS, I whenever I switched resolutions before, I always seem to have to reset the window slightly. It seems to be doing it automatically now, which is nice. So, this is another twin stick shooter. <laughs> yes, I like my twin stick shooters. And I think this is by the guys who did uh, another twin stick shooter called Crimson Land, which was a lot of fun. They're shouting at you to brush your teeth. Brush your teeth. Kill the deep ones. Okay. Okay, that, okay, short levels. Allows me to teleport. Okay. Okay, temp power up collected. Okay, watch. Allows me to find various abilities. Okay. Left trigger for special ability. Okay. Now look, now I have a Tommy gun. You see? Oh, okay. Oh, Arkham Canvas. Oh no, Gardens of Providence, okay. This meter shows level progress, okay.
Okay, the fences do come down eventually. Full level gained, I can now choose a perk. Okay, why? 40% uh, more power-ups or maximum health? More health. Okay. Okay, 25% weapon damage plus 20, that'll do it. Okay, it fires slower but it pierces through things. We'll make peace. Level completed, okay. I'm lighting the soundtrack to this. X-ray blade, short range, concentrated X-ray beam that cuts through anything. Ooh, okay. Well in mana. Okay, right, here we go. Another pack. Oh, faster weapon fire, yeah, that'll do it. Although really a faster reload would probably have been more helpful thinking about it. <laughs> but I've also got to remember I've got my... I've got my dash which it doesn't appear has any sort of limit. Yeah, that caused the mess. Fire bullets and a shotgun, that'll do it. More pops, let's go. This is fun. I'm liking this. <laughs> Ooh, got two parts of the mech. And yeah, your packs and everything reset. With every little mini level. chance for bullets to pierce opponents that sounds good
Oh yeah, here we go. I have a feeling this is available on all the consoles as well. I can't even remember how much. I can't even remember how much this cost me. See, I must... I have a feeling I got it as part of a bundle or something. But it's possible it was one of those I picked up half a dozen things and just kind of forgot I picked this up. So I'm saying he thinks he got it on PS Plus. I think I did look into it because I think I've I noticed I think it was uh, I noticed it on the Switch eShop. And I had a look and thought, oh that looks fun, but kinda of forgot about it. And like I said, I had the feeling I'd gotten it free with the Epic Store or Amazon, but the fact it showed up in the Steam library seems to say otherwise. But I'm not complaining because I am rather enjoying this. Oh, you're maybe thinking the Tesla Grad. Yeah. Enchanted wood. FNAF now. Nah. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, it didn't last long, but it was awesome while it did. Ready, press A. Okay. Some packs, uh, more health, more health, faster moving. And again, the, the most important thing with Twin Stick Shooter, this, it just, it feels good. There's nothing worse than a Twin Stick Shooter which doesn't actually, where the movement and stuff doesn't feel great. But no, this is, this is good. Wah! Panic, panic. to do weapon damage yeah war daka always appreciated fire bullets also appreciated i've got shield got another 
Per. Oh yeah, we're back again. That was fun. Oh, I like this. Oh, there's DLC. Ooh. I'll have a look at that. Tesla vs. Lovecraft for science. How much is the DLC? Three ninety nine. Okay, cool. I will. I will have a look at that later. We'll buy Tesla out the bundle. Oh, wait, there's a couple of other games. There's, yeah, there's Tesla vs. Lovecraft and Tesla Force, which I have not heard of. Ooh, right, okay. Tesla Force appears to be... Oh, right, it's a sequel, and it's an early access game. And there's a bundle. Ooh. Yes, I will maybe have a look into that because uh, yeah, ten ninety nine normally. So yes, that, that was rather fun. Uh, let's see, I'll find one more thing to play tonight. Do, do, do. Oh, scrolling the wrong thing. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. What have I not played in a little while? Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, I forgot about that as well. Okay, to keep finding things and looking and saying, oh yeah, I picked that up, didn't I? Do, do, do. There was something up here, I was sure. Ah, yes, let's play a nice... And I shoot them up that I originally bought on a sale in on the Switch. But then just when I was buying a whole bunch of shoot em ups. Why is my screen not refreshing? Do, 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 game capture. 
There we go, there we go. Yes, this is a Shikondo Solita. Which I believe uh, comes from Korea. And it's a nice, typically, typically kind of bullet hell shoot em up. And I think I might have to change the volume a bit. Option. Okay, here we go. Right, I can't actually adjust the volume easily, but hopefully the volume level is okay. We shall pick normal. So we can pick the Reaper, the, well, the Grim Reaper, not Mori Calliope, or the girl. wonder how I've got the buttons set up. I'll probably get them got them set up the same way I normally do. I'll soon find out when I accidentally fire off a smart bomb instead of slowing down. <laughs> yeah, no, I've got them set up properly. That's good. Yes, this game's got a nice art style. It's just a, a little different from a lot of shmups. Although there are a lot of shmups who that kind of take this style of mythological folklore uh, enemies. Yeah, just the, the art in this is a little bit special. And again, this is also available on PS4, Switch, probably Xbox. And I think it's normally about seven or eight pound. I know, well, I'll, I'll happily pay it up to 15, 20 quid for a really nice shoot em up. So, oops. Yeah, use a soul charge. A huge battleship is approaching. No, a cute anime girl. doing okay here that's that's the other thing with this game the difficulty level isn't ridiculous he said getting hit by a bullet and <laughs> die <laughs>
And the music got rather wob wob as well. Life, life. Yeah, I think we need an extra life. Oh, another trailer for something that hit, uh, and I kind of forgot about. Uh, there's a new Kiki Kai Kai game, or Pocky and Rocky as it was known in the West, uh, coming out. Uh, by the team who did the recent Ninja Warriors Return Again game. And it looks wonderful. Again, just really nicely updated high-res graphics, but similar sort of gameplay. And yeah, this game's also got an awesome soundtrack. Oh, I didn't quite weave my way through that. Just stay at the side here. Come on, off you go. One more continue. That was me getting hit rather than activating anything. Yeah, we're right in uh, Asian horror territory here. <laughs> Climbing backwards there. Yeah, that was stupid. We shall exit. So yeah, that's a uh, Shikondo Solita. I said just awesome in the shmup. And the computer's having a wee bit difficulty closing that down. Oh, well, let's just get. Uh, 
and close. And enter. Yes, the, they are found near the developers. Quit. Yes, I will have a quick we look on the store page for the current price. Yes, seven pound nineteen on Steam. And I think it's uh, pretty similarly priced on Steam. And I did not know I could buy the soundtrack on Steam. Well, that's getting picked up next week. Awesome. That's the thing with Steam. Sometimes you don't, when you just buy, going through your wish list and buying games in the sale, you sometimes don't realise that. Uh, they also have the sound chat available. So there's been a few games I've suddenly discovered. Ooh, I've I've actually got that sound track already. Uh, that's nice. So yes, I will. I will be picking up that sound track next week. And yeah, I think it's a similar price on Switch and PS4. Because I think I got it half price on the Switch, and it was about three pound fifty. But I am going to leave it there for tonight because I'm just beginning to feel a wee bit tired but I will hopefully be back on Monday uh, with uh, continuing with uh, the Borderlands Moxie's uh, heist DLC and then I will be back next Friday with another mix of stuff on whichever console or computer I decide to be playing that night <laughs> But uh, as always, hope you enjoyed uh, watching me mess about with stuff. Uh, as always, it'll be here for the... It'll be uh, archived here for a couple of weeks and permanently archived on YouTube later tonight, uh, as always. And I will see you all later. Nighty-night.